Oh, How shit. late was you? Samantha? <laughs> I'm nervous. We need to dance right. now. <laughs> Do what makes you feel happy, bitch. Yeah. Financially, I take care of my man, too. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of After Class, bitch. We missed last week, so we are so excited to be here. We got Jazz up in the building. Say what's up, hey. We got Whammy up in the building. Say what's up, hey. We got Ali up in the building. Say what's up, hey. Period. Yes, Who? y'all. Tell the good news. What's the good news? The that good I brought news. a whole bunch of donuts that nobody the wants. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> the good. Oh no no no! That's the that's the bad news. The good news is that we made it here on time, y'all. Our appointment at the studio was at. A, <laughs> is there an applause effect? Like, woo! Yeah, y'all had to production y'all needs to put in a, 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 a. You could just record applaud. me. I'm like here. This is the. You could sample this. Woo! <laughs> and then just like throw that in over the mic. <laughs> sample this, <laughs> yo. Because I feel like. Uh, Honestly, except for Whammy, because I feel like Whammy, you're an on-time person. Sometimes. I have never been on time like this. <laughs> to anything. To anything. anything. <laughs> to not a job. To That's not my life. To not a job. Not, not a job. Because you could be like five minutes late to a job. It's I a feel grace like they period. Want, Bitch, you, you know pull what I'm a saying? 15. You pull a 15. It's a grace period. I just yeah. bring them coffee as a buffer. Yeah. Right. I was surprised in y'all. And, and that's exactly why line. I brought donuts for production here. But Rude. production rejected all the donuts that I brought. Beach. Oh, rude. Petty. Y'all know who he is. <laughs> Look at him in the corner, act like he don't give a <laughs> fuck either, bitch. He's All probably, he's probably don't. Rolling. He does it. He don't like. But donuts. let's talk about this. I just thought about it because it's actually a thing being punctual. Like, what do y'all think about being punctual? Because I haven't been Overrated. punctual. Right. Yeah. I don't like waiting for people, bitch. Because every time you walk into rehearsal or every time you have a rehearsal, like for our world, rehearsal, a shoot, a job, like literally anything. Tell me the last motherfucking time they started when they said that they would motherfucking start. Even if there's a whole, uh, you know, like call time list and all that, bitch. When have they ever Never. been on time? Mm. not one gig or anything that I've ever that. been on has you see been what on I'm time. saying and you know what I think it is for the listeners and the viewers too is that being a dancer means to being in the entertainment industry period I think it's just like a hurry up and wait situation we are always rushed waiting, to sit down to rushed to sit, the mu- sit down and then at one time Go to the you decide room. to be fucking late <laughs> and you miss everybody 10 8 counts you don't I'm miss 10 like, counts bitch fuck? <laughs> really bitch always happens especially me because I'm always there chilling you know in the car I'm not gonna get down but I'm gonna chill till the time is up up. Mm-hmm. And then that one time I decided, oh shit, I'm running late. Oh well, they're always late. I get there and everybody fucking. But what was that though? What was that? What class? No, it was a fucking rehearsal, bitch. Oh, okay. How late was you, <laughs> Samantha? <laughs> she said I missed Samantha, the combo. I missed Miss- half of the fucking rehearsal. <laughs> Damn, Sammy, bitch. So that's you on you, bitch? Yeah, you was about an hour late. Well, it was my only time. <laughs> but that's I like live. significant. <laughs> Look how rich like, she is. Guess, now she was guess what? Guess what? I picked up that shit, so it's okay. Okay, period. True. So it don't even it's matter. Okay. It's okay. It don't even matter then. Jazz, when was the last time? <laughs> that I was on time? Nah, yeah. that somebody, oh. that the project started on time. Like, never, oh. right? Can't count one. <laughs> no. Can't <laughs> count. And I've been working. <laughs> right. Yeah, you have been working. Nice. You've, been out of, you've been out of town, all of that shit. Cute. Did your project start on time? Did your shows, did your, the videos, did any of that start on time? I think our call time to be on stage was 10.15. We didn't get on stage till 10.50. Okay. Oh. And that was on stage. Yeah. On a full platform people done paid motherfucking tickets that for. That happens. They kept coming back to us. We gonna push it back a bit. Bitch. I'm nervous. We need to dance right. now. <laughs> I'm, I'm jittery. Dancing. I got a shit. I have to pee. I'm, I'm strapped nervous. in. Can we go? I'm going to the bathroom three times. I done done my prayer. I done jumped up and down and woo! Hype woo! yourself and then to wait. Said, 20 more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I know exactly how that bitch, feels. You know when you just have that anticipation like, bitch, I'm ready to go. I and know. like, and then you get like the little <laughs> sit down, pee, but I don't, don't get a snack. But it's like, yeah, pee, but, but I, I know it'll go away because it's not real. I did that, pee, and then, then you gotta get like pee. the tights up and shit, and you're like, damn, <laughs> bitch, are you guys rushing me or what? Those costumes were sewn on to us, so Hate if it. it's up, then it's stuck. <laughs> we just sat there looking dumb. Have you, do y'all have your um your coffee before or your dairy before so that you can use the bathroom so that that way the Hell nervous fuck the no. nervous feelings yes. no. is you know that it's not the it's just nerve nerves it's not the actual but like this helps pistachio. And then it's like a little uh, detox. She I don't have that. it before I caught that. that oh, <laughs> <laughs> let's not say it. Let's not. Let's okay, not. No. Let's not explain. Yeah. Um, no, but I definitely don't drink any coffee. Nothing that needs to make me go to the bathroom. Are you like a Why? Are you like, oh, because I'm not I have. Eat? I have no. That's yayo. 
But mm. I can eat, but I'm not going to eat like that much or like drink coffee before I have to dance or something because I have a lot of adrenaline. Like I'm always ready to go without coffee to dance. Well, coffee for me is to just get my system going so that I can oh, let no. everything out before and then I'm skinny mini. Let me stage. tell you. Let she me tell you. you know what I'm saying? No, I have no problem going to the bathroom. That's the thing that I That's don't right. have a That's problem. That's what she had said. Jazz. I That's literally can said. eat. And just go. And just go. I can decide I feel like when I'm that I'm going to go. It gets a little stuck. So <laughs> <laughs> I guess. It's a little stuck. It gets a little, it gets a little hard. <laughs> it gets hard. It's, it's, hard. A, it's a stressful <laughs> moment inside. It's hard. So my body doesn't react it positively. Look so. at Rashad. <laughs> you didn't bring your headphones today, baby. Oh. We loud and clear. <laughs> no, you don't no, listen no, to that. Don't give him his headphones. We're going to cut it cute. We're going to cut it cute. I was right. just saying to emphasize what she said. Yes, this helps flush it all out in like a more effective, quicker. Right. Oh, it's Shit. 11 11. Oh, it's 11 12. Ooh, Never damn. mind. Yeah. It's a moment. I was about to have us a moment. I know. I, I was so ready for it. Well, it came and went, bitch. The wisdom. But today. I want to go back to being punctual. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Mm. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, how do we all feel about that? Do we think that it's important? Do we think that it, it kind of just varies? Or do are we just on our own time, bitch? Because for me, let me answer first, because I just feel like I have lived so much of my life being on other people's times, mm. whether it's assisting somebody, whether it's, you know, for a job, whether it's for her or anything. It's just on other people's times time and I hate that I hate that because we have to literally follow mm -hmm. when they're ready when they need a little bit more time da -da 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 -da. and I just I don't like waiting because I'm not a patient person so I have built my life to where even if I want to be on time I'm not on time because it's just like it's literally programmed in me Holy something shit. happens or or not not that something happens to delay me but I'm like bitch I'm hungry so I'm gonna go get me a fucking donut Mm. Or I or I need a coffee because the, a coffee is going to like jumpstart the day or whatever. Like I just I'm on my own time. I think it mm. makes like when you put it that way, look at us justifying our lateness. Right. <laughs> but it's like you're doing it. It's pure intentions. You're honoring yourself, so you can't get mad. Right. When you're honoring and you let the, and your I let the time. other person know. It's not, uh, bitch. I you have, just send a text. Yeah, I send a cute little text. I let you know that I'm about to be 15 minutes late. So if I'm gonna be 15 minutes late, then you're gonna be 15 minutes late, and that's fine. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not just going to have you wait with no idea what the fuck is going on. Feeling like Right. And which I have been a position that way. But <laughs> where not I, everybody where does. I literally was like sitting there waiting, calling and texting the other person and nothing. nothing. Stop. I know. Seriously. Yeah, I know. I already know who you're talking about. <laughs> literally, I was calling and texting and nothing because she was on her own time. She needed to do what she needed to do. So I was like, bet. I'm gonna do for the rest of my do. life. For the rest of my motherfucking life. Noted. You know? I mean, that's like a trauma. Yeah, it is. Right? Yeah. So it's, you're yeah, like, you're like a, that. a flight response. I'm gonna be late you're doing now. Your, you're, tr you're triggered. You're yeah, traumatized. triggered as fuck. Am I on time? <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna hold on. But yeah. I like it. But I then but then at the same time, Tally and I always talk about it. It's like, if you're gonna be late, then you can't have anxiety about being late. Yes. And I have anxiety yeah. about being yeah, late. Yeah, yeah, especially yeah. <laughs> you have to make a <laughs> commitment. <especially, laughs> right, exactly. It's like, if you're gonna be late, then you need to be- It's a choice, It's bitch. a motherfucking choice <laughs> right. and you stick to it. But I'm like, oh shit, I'm late. Ah, like, hurry up. I'm driving like a maniac. Let let me get my coffee still. Uh, <laughs> hurry can up, you make it wrong? Can you do it? We bought a Starbucks. Can you do it again? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Right. And, and still late. But you know and what's that, crazy? That's the thing. That's the thing where if you are going to decide to be late, you can't Come give. In. Yeah, you can't give yourself anxiety because it's like, bitch, then you might as well be the fuck on time. Mm. We're here now. Right. That used to be me, though. Like, I think we switched places because I always used to be a late person. And then when I got with Ye... Um, he made you on time. He's just a stressful ass person. Like if he's not there <laughs> ten minutes before, it's over. Like he's his at. Well, no, he got better at it. But um, before it used to be way worse. I'm like, chill, just be there. Like, cause at work they actually make you be there thirty minutes before your actual call time. <laughs> Gotta be to work early. Yeah, but it's a whole process. I'll be late to that thirty minutes. Right, okay. right, right. I mean, I get what for what he right. does. I understand that mm -hmm. concept. But if my job ever said you need to, girl, boo, right? See you ten minutes after, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, for real. No. But I guess I got used to just being ready. Mm. So like mm. now that looks like I'm always ready, but I'm just like, well, you are I'm always okay. ready. I'm okay. Like I can wait. I don't mind. I rather just sit there instead of 
having anxiety. That's exactly what Tali says. Because I don't like anxiety. <clears throat> that shit like, drives me nuts. I read my book. We're the same. I yeah. Have, but I grew up with my mother being late to everything. Mm. And I, I'm a naturally anxious person. I'd be like, Miss Girl, <laughs> like you you knew the time stay right. up. Like, and then we get <laughs> mad at everybody else. So then now in my adult life, I like to think that I'm on time. And then no. <laughs> but I know in my spirit that no, I do not, not be. And <laughs> I be trying. The thing is, I try yeah, and you then try I hard. get. I yeah, do, you're and like, then bitch, I get I'm leaving my house at 10. And then don't. So what happens in between then? Some dumb shit, bitch. I'll set my alarm and lay in bed. <laughs> mm. I'll be like, I'm up. Fucking psych. <laughs> Wake up 10 minutes that later. That is it. <laughs> all I did was Fuck wake up. Else. Eyes was open and that's about all you got from me. But in See, my mind, can't do it that. was productive in my head. You no. have to get off. <laughs> no, I woke up at the time that I said I would. Did I do anything? No. That's what you have to do. See, that's what, that's why you always have to like turn on the TV or turn on music. Oh like phone. get your brain Blast going. Yeah, or go on your phone. I do. Go yeah, on your phone. Too make long. Me... Mm. You see? <laughs> and oh. then I be, I'm like, oh, I have to leave now. Do you know what Ye does? <laughs> I literally <laughs> tell him to get up earlier than me because he just sits there on the phone. I'm like, if you're going to choose to be on the phone, get up earlier because then he's like oh, rushing. Sam, so that's a anxiety. fucking choice. Mm -hmm. No, like, I'm so serious. <laughs> I, mean, I hear it. I'm yeah, me so too. serious. And he knows it too. I'm like, if you choose to be on the phone, just fucking go be on your phone, but get up earlier because then you're stressing me out. Don't I stress me out because I'm, I'm sitting there ready and you're like, but hurry up, but hurry up. I'm like, I'm sitting here. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, but... Whatever, I gotta go. <laughs> and no, I'm like, whatever. I just know. I just think people have their process. Uh, so, what is your pro? Like, what is your waking up process? Get the fuck up. It depends on what I'm waking up for. Every process is different. Like what? some days mm -hmm. when I have to pop Not the me. fuck up. I don't. I've never had a routine because uh. some days. So when you so let so answer me this, and I'm gonna let you finish. So when you have to get up at eight for what though? Because. You could say eight for work, and bitch, she's snoozing her alarm clock still. Right. If it's a rehearsal, I'm just gonna eight put for on a rehearsal. And get out. Eight for eight for this. eight for <laughs> eight for this. You know the answer, bitch. I'm like, <laughs> okay, don't make it. <laughs> Because Don't for me, if it. I have to wake up at 8, I'll set my alarm at 7, wake up at 7, probably snooze, snooze it, maybe like, like once or twice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get up at like 7.45 and then be on my phone until like at 8.15. <laughs> then I get up. <laughs> oh my God. But, I le but at least I'm literally like I'm... Up. I'm watching it. Yeah, and I'm up and I'm watching. I'm watching the time. I don't lose it. You know what I'm saying? It depends on the people. Like, when I know mm -hmm. that I'm with y'all, I'm like, I know for motherfucking certainty, right. Aaliyah Janelle is going to be late. So my butt, <laughs> no, I, this is my head process. I'm like, right. there's really no need for me to, to rush. kick, split, twirl <laughs> because <laughs> I have literally all the time in the world, baby. Right. Even my, like, <laughs> I ain't going to blast you, bitch. I'm, Come on. Even when I feel like I'm, I'm going to run late Same. and then I send the text and leave like, bitch. I'm like, I'm I'm good. Good. I'm, give me a 45 I don't need to minutes. run these yellows no more, bitch. I'm over Same. here speeding. And then once you say, bitch, I'm like, okay. Let me right, 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 right. Let me go to speed limit. She gives, I'll be there 45. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. 45 minutes. <laughs> I was like, the podcast starts now. And like, she said, I'm 45. She said, 45. <laughs> that shit killed me. That shit, no, 45 that, minutes. That bitch. ha ha, I've never ha ha to text so fast and meant right, it. Right, and right, fucking right, meant I it. I've never ha ha. If it's something like, like the rehearsals that I just had, I, I wanted to make a good impression because the choreographer, so I gave my efforts. Okay. And you were on time. Mm. Maybe like a cute five minutes. Yeah, okay. yeah, but okay, it, like, that's, it worked that's out on time because there was a minutes. long line of check in and everything. So it's like you have a cast of like twenty people. Like it wasn't. It was right. Once I saw I'm how be, many people was I'm in gonna the be chat. on time and then be standing in line. So Ooh. I waited. I was like the last to check in. We walked in and he said hello, gang, and I was like cute. Right. <laughs> we like, made it. Let's hit these steps. <laughs> do we want? Steps. Do we want to work on no. it, Jazz? I don't either. She said I'm gonna get worse because I feel like I am. And I, what do you mean you feel like you're oh you feel like you are working on it on being on time <laughs> mm. i mean look at today today, today that has, is literally work. the first day i'm sweating no, still the first and last day i'm sorry no the first day no no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> he looked at you like bitch no rashad we ran rashad we we ran, ran. Oh i know God. you heard us <laughs> and we crack and fuck just <laughs> 
<laughs> Everybody was looking at us no, weird. Your no, neighbor? for podcasts, no, for podcasts, I'm going to try. I'm going to make the vow today to try to be on time. The buffer is 1110. Yes. Mm. That's on time. Yeah. Really? No, but hear, hear me out, Rashad. It gives you like oh, he's time stressed. to set the yeah. camera up right like this. So it's, it's like it, he don't like us. He, <laughs> he don't does. like us. I, I, I set the camera with y'all sitting in the chair, right? So I get y'all. <gasps> we'll get some mannequins. We'll yeah. get we'll you get right. we'll get a little Janice fine. could sit. You know how we yeah, sit. Yeah, Janice. Yeah. It's, it's two of y'all for a reason. And then you just and then you test it. <laughs> <laughs> You know? I hate you. <laughs> we're gonna try, Rashad. That's all that we're gonna say. We're gonna try. We know we know, we at least wanted to do it once, and we got it today. We That's got it harder. today. No, bitch. because it did throw me when we had asked him the last time, and he said there hasn't been a single time, even our first podcast with him. <laughs> and then I was like, "Damn, we're trash." Trash. So then. I had I did feel we proved bad. it to ourselves yeah yeah because that that sucks do we need to do it again maybe um, like in a maybe, month right <laughs> not a month maybe when there's another see what, what what's happening too is that there's another there's another appointment after us so, so it's like people. so it's more pressure no more pressure I need to I need to book two at the same time maybe that's what I need damn. to damn bitch then I'll be extra late never right, mind moving on you're gonna on. be here Girl, at the last moving you'll be here at the last, the last hour yeah. you're gonna be at the last hour of your last booking look at you they are motherfucking when I give, ready to quit. yeah no seriously when I give myself more time I make myself more late <laughs> right ready to clock out he's praying look at him he's praying he's ready to Rashad out. I know that not every podcast is on time uh, no, he literally no, said no we're the only ones that are late. There's no, yeah, there's no way I that we're the only believe. podcast that's late. He says it. Janice, you'll tell the truth. Janice. She's going to say some shit to <laughs> make us feel bad. She's looking at us like Janice. that. She's like, that is. Is every podcast on time? What's close, though? Like, okay, late. Yeah, it's not the, late. This, that's late. It's not the time that you said. When's the latest? Uh, when's the when's the latest? What was what was our latest? Sing, bitch. I know. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure <laughs> this out. I'm like, are we the only podcast that runs 50? late? 50 minutes. 5-0? I don't believe. 50? Don't yeah. Believe. When you said the cute little 45 minutes, bitch. I don't believe. Were we 50 minutes? Yes, no. we were 50 no. minutes. No. Then we started on There's another no hour. Before There's, no There's no oh, That was before Jesus. Why are we whispering? No, because it's not real. Why are we whispering? <laughs> oh, wait. We, he's oh, pretty fat. Sure. Oh, maybe I got it cap. mixed up. Cap. It's a different squad. Right. Yeah, because you know what? You're here all day. So working you don't the podcast, even know. So maybe you're tired. You switched up. Yeah, you're tired. <laughs> Not telling him he's delirious. Whammy's like, yep, we were 15 minutes late. Yeah. 15 minutes yeah, late. Bitch. I just don't believe that it was that long. That was that time. I think it was like two weeks ago. 30. I would believe that. Right. Easily. You say they're like, yeah, that was us. For sure. <laughs> 50, my dude. That's a reach. <laughs> giving dramatic. Literally. <laughs> it's giving dramatic, Rashad. <laughs> oh, my God. I think we're speech. Point is. Uh, you don't have your text message for me, right? Huh? I have your text message for so. Oh, bitch. Oh. Not receipts. Can we stop now? He's going to call it out. <laughs> okay, okay. Moral of the story, this is on time today. So, new beginnings. New we don't live for the past. Try we're present. 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 I yeah, feel like we, we need a podcast on present. that. We was talking about being present, so we need to practice what we preach. We right. preach today, and we pre said celebrate our wins publicly. So, again, <laughs> go ahead and sample that. On time. <laughs> and look at that. 1124. Usually when we would actually start. Yeah. We haven't even started yet. We, we would be going getting start. coffee. <laughs> We'd be in the bathroom. In. Selling him why we was With late. With that being said. Be like, we shot, we, we have start to pee. the rehearsal. Of the rehearsal. The rehearsal. Start the podcast. <laughs> so what it is. Okay, so let's catch everybody up. So yes, we weren't Damn, um, we weren't here up. last week. Yeah, that wasn't a catch up, bitch. <laughs> so. We weren't here last week because of some 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 situations. That it's not exactly the studio is motherfucking closed, bitch. Okay. Oh my yeah. god, uh, so deep. Right. I, I know. was like, yes, come on, story. Well, I didn't want the. I don't want to put them on blast, but they were closed for whatever reason. Blast. That happens. So the studio was closed. We weren't here. You However, we were celebrating an amazing thing, or I was celebrating an amazing thing last week because the premiere of the BET show that I'm on premiered on Ooh. Wednesday. Ooh. So everybody on Queens and Lettuce Wednesdays, I say that because didn't I teach every Wednesday? I did, right? Yeah, you yeah. did. Yeah, it was Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday. Friday. Can we go back? Yes, please. Every <laughs> Queens and Lettuce Wednesday, a new episode of the Encore comes on. And basically, if you guys don't know what that is, BET took um, took members of different 
90s and 2000s R&B groups took like members and like stars of the 90s R&B group. So like Nivea, Keish, uh, Keisha, Keisha Cole. Oh, come on. Keely from the Cheetah Girls and 3LW. We have the Cherish Twins. We have Aubrey O'Day from Danny D. Kane. And, uh, you know, people like that. So we put them together. They put them in a house to live together and record an album in 30 days. They have 30 days to juicy? record an bitch. Once you said the house, I said, ooh. Mm. They, they're living together and they have to work together when they're so used to. I mean, it's like, I just feel like even girl groups, just period, it's fucking hard, especially you when that? you have talented people. Everybody wanted to be in the middle. Everybody wanted to be the star. Mm. Everybody wanted to be the lead. So it's I like saw that dealing, trailer. Yeah, they so were with the like, wine crying, and I'm like, oh, oh shit. No. It, I was like, come it on, was, emotional. It's destined for drama. It's destined for drama. It's mm. destined for drama. And it's like, we're kind of dealing with. Because the Cherish Twins, ooh, they went off ooh. already because we have, you know, we have we have some oldies in the group. Like, we have, um, do you guys remember the group uh, Total? Yeah. Total and 702. Damn. 702? Yeah. Old. Yeah. <laughs> not old. Sorry, I did not mean <laughs> She said, <What>? old. <laughs> so we have, and then, so take them, right? <laughs> take them and then, you know, the Cherish Twins, Cheetah Girls, Aubrey. So yes! it's like two different generations yeah. to put them together. It's different like mindsets. We, different mindsets, mm. different things that they want to say, different way on how to dance. Bitch, you know, I came in like a Ziggy Ziggy, yeah. And yeah. then all of them are like, what happened um, to the what happened to the group? Girl, <laughs> tell me where to step first. Yeah, so we it's very, very interesting. So everybody tune in and watch. There's a new episode today. Okay, so that's Wednesday. that. Can you tell and... us about your experience? Are you um, allowed to give the insights? Thank you very much. Yeah. Right, let's go. We're interviewing. Bitch. <laughs> We're asking the questions now. But you guys can ask anything. <laughs> my experience was great because I stayed in my motherfucking lane. Yes. Now, if I had time, to live, and now, if I had to live in the house, then that would have been a situation. Mm. I stayed. Every time I came in, they were happy to see me, bitch. They were like, thank you God. You know me. I brought all my spiritualness, all my great energy mm. into the fucking mm -hmm. house or Come into on, the, our, you know, rehearsal space. Yeah. Love that. So it's like every time <laughs> they came from the house, like after finishing a fight or whatever, it's like, <gasps> but Aaliyah's here. So Yay. let's get this choreography. Okay, you know what I'm shut saying? the fuck up we're gonna dance a little exactly. time to release right yes. and focus on something else but little did they know they were gonna get stressed again yeah because Aaliyah they came with a big thing yeah. <laughs> I can't do it Aaliyah came with a step no right. but what I had to do was I had to dumb it down a little bit these girls haven't danced in a little bit especially the way that we do it at first I came in in heels bitch that Wrong. was my first and last day I came in fucking Bitch heels. came in a sneaker after. Sneaker mm -hmm. all throughout because they weren't, they were not having it. For real. Mm -hmm. Damn. Bitch endangerment. Yeah. I was going to endanger their lives. What? Yeah. You were going to twist that ankle. I was, yes. They don't walk yes. in here? <laughs> it was a no. Oh, it was no. a no. Like a hard oh, no. Okay. It, the only person that wore heels was Aubrey. Yes. Aubrey wore but heels. She was ready, too. bitch. She, said, oh, okay. she had a cute ass outfit the first rehearsal. Ooh. It was so fucking cute. Everybody else was like, fuck your heels. Where's my Balenciaga tennis shoes? Where's my fucking, uh, what else were they wearing? Uh, uh, my Air Force Ones. Like, it was all of that. And I was like, and okay, fine. Up. So we're, we're, uh, we're like, Loose. we're swaggy with it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Cute. That's, cute. That's where we were at. So everybody. Tune in. Tune in. Period. We love that. And it's right. a good show. It's a good show. And there's a lot of drama, obviously. But at the end of the show. Do you get show, to go to the reunion? I don't know. I hope so. Of there course. should be a reunion. That'd be lit if yeah. you go to the reunion. BT. But that's like how many but years <laughs> later? <laughs> I don't know. No, like she's just like years. at the epi end of the episode. It's like a little breaky because they be like, oh, the yeah, party, like rap. I should rap host party. it. I should host it. I shouldn't come to it because it's like, bitch, why are you even here? No, that's you weren't right. in any, were anything. You just gave me choreography. I should host. That'd be right. lit. Boom. You're like a nap. Whammy, catch us up. What's been happening? Bitch, we <laughs> filming, we working out. Self-caring. You're working out. Love this. <laughs> She's always. Okay. Always. Ah, damn. Same old, same old. It's fucking hot. It Girl. Is. I'm sweating right now. It's 100 degrees. I had a clock out of work. <gasps> you can see my pit stains in white. That's why I, I wore tank top. realize that. Can you see pit stains in white? Yep. Yeah. And not puppy oh, on black. Shit. Here's the thing. Stain. No. Liquid. Yes. Yes. Because you can mm -hmm. see the wet. The juice. Right. Yeah. 
the juice. Ooh. It doesn't look crunchy and like mussy though. And yellow. Oh, I got a question. I got a question. Bitchy, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. I got a question. What oh. would you prefer? Because you know when you wear tank tops, your fucking deodorant just like melts off. So what would you rather deal with? The fucking little wet stain or your deodorant constantly melting off in the fucking heat? What deodorant do you use? I, I use off. all of them. No, I reapply. But I'm saying I hate but just that in shit. General. Degree. Wait, I'm sorry. What's dev. the difference? <laughs> what do you mean? I thought your deodorant is melting off while uh, my deodorant is melting off while I sweat. Did I really right know? now? Yeah. Damn. She Ooh. said under the sleeve. Wait a minute. <clears throat> like, no. what's the difference between the deodorant melting and then you sweating? No, bitch. You know when we work out yeah. and we wearing like cute little sports bras because we hot as fuck. Yeah. And we're like, damn, I think the deodorant disappeared. <laughs> Not it disintegrated. Oh, because we start to smell. That. <laughs> <laughs> and it's totally okay because we're working our ass off. Right. But what so, about on a regular day when you're not and then you just stink? No, bitch. I'm talking about like when you're working out or you're fucking sweaty like it's 100 degrees Well, outside. at that point, I don't care. Because if go. I go stink, I'm going to so stink, that's what you, Then that's what you prefer. You, I, you know what? I it. will say, I will proudly say that even when I do start to stink, I don't, eat, I don't stink like that. I don't stink like onions and cilantro. I just, you just smell my natural odors. She said onions and cilantro? <laughs> She's like, bitch, that's still. It's the natural odor. I will have to say my man loves it. It's just the oh, natural. Yeah, when, yeah, when you're. Yeah. <laughs> When your body is clean, oh, yeah? when your body is clean, y'all, my body is clean, despite this donut that I'm about to We're devour. Not, I'm not collecting myself because that threw her. Oh, my body is shit. clean. Disregard them. My body is clean. We all clean in this Sorry, bitch. You know, you start, you know, you stink because of your insides, bitch. Yeah, and what you put in yourself. Right. So oh. if you're putting junk and nastiness in your thing, then you're going to stink even more. Mm. She's Not like, bitch, grossing you out off some BO. You don't be funky. He be funky. Funky. He's he's he he my be all over it. But like, he know, he be funky too. It's natural. It's normal. Yeah, I know. Janice, you be funky some days? Period. You see? So, it's okay. <laughs> Jazz, what's been going on? <sighs> huh? It pheromones. Yeah. It's pheromones. It's pheromones. Thank, Thank you. you. See? Thank you. Period. Sometimes and my man loves it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, Go, Jazz. Go. What's been going on? Working. Yeah. Working, doing shows. Didn't you just come back in town? Yeah. I was in Where were you Nashville and Salt Lake City doing um, pride shows with Todrick. Yes. yes. It was first time back on a live stage with a full, like, audience. Crowd, crowd. Like, in, yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, my God. I you guys didn't it. have to wear masks on stage, did you? Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Did they? Ha- did the audience have to wear masks? First of all, we went to towns that have fully abolished the mask rule, like, yeah, b- before any of the. Nashville? Girl. They've been moved on. Corona didn't exist in Nashville, Tennessee. In my that's town. Right, that's all. Yeah, so. I'm so jealous of my town. They're we went. Mm-hmm. People were lit. Yeah. It was like a full carnival. Mm-hmm. Like nothing ever happened. Like what is a pandemic? What is Corona? Damn. Damn. Nothing. Mm-hmm. Only but, California. Yeah. It was fun as fuck though. Mm-hmm. It was so. It was. So you guys on tour? You're going back? It's it's like a pride tour, <laughs> I guess per se. But a lot of cities have pushed pride back to like. The fall because they don't know what the fuck is going on mm-hmm. with Ms. Rona. So uh, it's spot day tours, I guess you can put it that oh, way. They're well. consistently lined up, mm. but it's not like we're just Confirm. on the go, like yeah. a tour tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so that, actually, maybe that's better. So you kind of like have that. like more space to do what you need to do mm-hmm. and have your free time. A weekend here, three day here, a day here, mm. something mm-hmm. like that, all the way till October. Mm-hmm. So that, um, just music videos, did a commercial. Yes. Little shit. Mm-hmm. Casual. Little shit back in town for a second. Okay. <laughs> Jasmine's birthday is coming up. July yes. 14th. Been planning her. I didn't really, you know, Tally's birthday is July 10th. Yeah, we're close. Oh, that's my yeah, uncle's birthday. Four days away. Yes. So close. Dance. Answers. Mm-hmm. Love that. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? <sighs> Still confirming all these little details, but I kind of just want to do like a full weekend thing because it's a Wednesday. Okay. Are you leaving? Or are you no, 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 no. I'm going to be here Wednesday, dinner. Ooh. Thursday, Friday, up in the air. And then Saturday, um, we have a yacht trip with just like friends and family. Oh People are flying God. down from the bay mm. and get a little lit then and then a brunch. So like I'm trying to just be Live your fully, best life. Yeah, and just fully inclusive and just like <clears throat> 
whatever day you can fucking come to, we'll do that and we'll get fucking lit. Right. I love that. Yeah. Okay, bitch. 25. So what do you- 25, so what are you, goddamn. What are oh. you expecting for 25? Like, what is the goal? Where do we, mm. where do we want to be? Like, once when we're, once when we're- <clears throat> In what is it, June of 2022? Ooh, you're about shit. to turn 26. What would you have wanted to accomplish 25? That's such That's a, a good, good question. question. I fucking hate her. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't even thought of it. Bitch. I haven't. I usually set manifestations, but I usually do it like the night before my birthday when I do like a recap. And that's mm, something that I've same. been doing. Like, where am I now? And I've been starting it because from where I am right now, from where I was last year, like prime pandemic time. She's a brand new bitch. Right. Yeah. Like, I mean, a full, I don't even know if you want to call it a 180. Yeah. 360. 360. Bigger bitch. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. it's been insane. Mm-hmm. So, it's been a year of just growth and clarity. And I guess we were talking about choices before making choices and mm. being strong and secure in your choices. And right. Not no matter what guessing. the choice being is. Being firm. Yeah. yeah. And no matter what the choice is, even if the outcome didn't come great, like, still support your choice. Don't regret it. Right. Yeah. So um, I want clarity and I want peace and I just want to keep walking in a place of secureness. Mm-hmm. Is that a word? Mm-hmm. I don't know, but we understand. It makes sense. Yeah. We make up in our a own firm words here. Uh-huh. Place. Just being very secure within myself. And I mean, I'm there. I'm already secure, but I want to keep going down. Do you right. think sometimes, so who, who or what, like, if you feel like you're not there now, because I even feel like with all of what I've been through, I feel like sometimes I'm still not secure or firm with whatever it is that I decide. Mm-hmm. Like the littlest thing is being late or, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm still like, still rushing because exactly. I don't want the other person to- Living you for know, other da-da-da. people. Right. Take, that's yeah. a better way of, instead of saying secure, <clears throat> fully doing my decisions and, and sticking to the selfish- situation that yeah. we got going on because yeah. I used yeah. to be very selfless and live for the people by the people and that's beautiful that's lovely but it was very hindering mm. for a long time mm-hmm. and so at this point it's now just if it does not benefit me if the intention is not pure yeah just pure and with I don't even like you guys the energy just positive like full like we talk about my yeah. body spirit as long as it does not I mean it needs to make sense mm-hmm. in all aspects of my life and you Absolutely. need to move with intention yeah mm-hmm. and that's all I'm really asking for I Same. think I'm in a very transitional place and being open like I feel other doors and other aspects opening and realizing that maybe the avenue is just not dance right. and so now I'm getting to a place of like yep. being okay with it because even a couple episodes ago when Ari was here I was like no I want to dance Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I remember dance. that. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, and I even since then, I've kind of just been more open to it and more things coming to me. And I feel my brain getting super creative. Mm-hmm. I'm like, OK, I'm OK with it. Mm-hmm. So now I feel like that internal blockage is gone. So now I'm ready to receive whatever else there is. Good. So I don't think I have a plan to answer that and put a stamp on a final answer. But I don't have, have a plan. No, you answer. No, that you, you answer. I have an it's internal clear. feeling in it's terms good. of a step-by-step guide. I've erased that because it put me in a box and I right. I would preach, no, I'm not in a box, I'm three-dimensional, but then my actions internally wouldn't represent that. Right. So now the boundaries are gone. Okay. Right. So now I can fully experience whatever dimensions and aspects of my life want to enter and change me and more. Good. Me. Just being open. Now That's it. That's that. it too. Just being a little bit, just being more open. And so many things flow. Like yeah, that. Everything I feel like people I feel like people we need to do a better job in using because I just literally read this in my book yesterday is just being <clears throat> um, being in tune with our emotions. Mm-hmm. Well, not even not even just being in tune, but listening to your emotions because you have emotions for a reason. Right. Like your emotions are your guidance is mm-hmm. the guidance system. So it's not even just like having a list as your guide. It's literally like, well, how do I feel about that? If you put this donut in front of me and then this apple in front of me, which one is going to make me feel it's better? The- first feeling though it's the yeah it's the first right. feeling. not the thought that right. follows the feeling i got right. a reading actually yeah. in the middle of one of rehearsals like i was oh, just shit. talking about like manifesting and this guy was like are you like i heard you talk about it, and he was like i do readings and i got more wait in- somebody had said that on your like commented yeah. no while we were no, in they rehearsal approached her. yeah oh. he was in, in the video mm-hmm. and we were on like a little break and i loved it because usually like when i do readings or excuse me or look at my chart or something it's with people who i know and mm. so they're like yeah bitch that makes sense that makes sense i'm like 
this feels kind of biased because I also could have done that. Like, you know me, so we're putting pieces together. Right. If that yeah. makes sense. Like, right. it could work. It could work. Instead of like a genuine. Ooh, third party real. doesn't know me from Adam and Eve. And that's what it is. even look. I don't know which chart he looked at, bitch, but he just pulled up some words and numbers and degrees <laughs> and symbols, bitch. And? Read me for dirt. Yeah. yeah. Top to bottom. But in the most beautiful way, I had never felt so much confirmation that I was in my right body. Wow. Like, all I could do was smile. He didn't say a single thing that caught me off guard, uh-huh. which he was Everything like, was like, yes. He's yes, like, usually yes. there's things that people are like, wait, what? What? Oh, like, now I need to think. No, everything was like... Mm. So that, for me, was a good feeling because I've always known I'm in tune. I know I have my intuition. I know those things. But it's like that thought instead of that feeling makes you start to doubt what you're doing. Like, am I yes. allowed to feel this highly of myself? Yes. Am I allowed I to feel this yeah. strongly or is this my ego? And it's like, no. Mm-hmm. This feeling is absolutely correct. And of course you need to feel yes. this highly of yourself, bitch, because mm. who else is? Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. So when I was hearing those things, it was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, keep reading. Yeah. So I had him re- re-record it. And so he sent it to me. And sometimes I'll just like play it wow. through my car in the morning. So like, cool. If I need, you needed like, that. That was that was yes. literally the universe talking to you yes. through him. And it was just so everything to a T, down to family life, down to friendships, down to relationships, to how I process emotions. Like everything, I was like, you saw that off a little right. degree symbol, bitch, <laughs> a little circle and some lines. Not, there were no descriptions. Mm-hmm. Nothing to for him to read and be like, okay, mm-hmm. this, no. But you know, you made that happen, right? Like yeah. you made that change in your mind that I don't want to be feeling like this anymore. So when someone reads you, I feel like shit can always change. So the fact that he read you and you were feeling great about it, he just confirmed that for you, which is that's what I needed. What you needed, I needed yeah. that confirmation because I was just smiling mm-hmm. and everything else went so smoothly yep. after that because it was just like, damn, like I don't even want to use the word doubt, but I'm an overthinker, yeah. so I would think it and I'd be like. Well, this is a possibility too, and I like no. It's like why is that shit thought, going, yeah, why so good? Let that be the answer, yeah, yeah. right? You didn't need to find any other no potential answers when right. you found the answer that felt best, right? Right, and just be okay with that. And I think I was looking for someone else to confirm it in a way, which I never needed, but it just it happened. happened. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, I don't, need, I don't need to think twice. I don't need to speak about it. Now we just walk. The walk. And you feel it. Yes. And the gravity just pulls you to wherever the fuck you need to pull. And everything was in alignment. Nice. Uh. And that's what, literally when he did that, two weeks later, booked, 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 on all those things. That's why I've been gone all those long. That was the very first week. Mm. And nothing else was confirmed. Like, I was getting overlapped, triple booked mm. nice. on things after he said that. And I literally felt an adjustment. It's like wow. I felt energy around me. And it was like, you get to pick which one you want to do today. Right. It's like, Loved it. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever it is that whatever it is that you've been listening to, whoever it is that you've been talking to, like you stay, stay here, mm-hmm. stay here because you're in the right place. In other words, totally recommend him to everybody. I'll send you guys his. Um, yeah. Instagram. You but what is what is the what call. is the thing that he looked at? Is, is it a, your birth? It's, it's a chart, like a birth chart oh. of everything. But it's so you like, know what time you were born. Yeah. Oh, you know, like if you look oh. at CoStar or something and it's like. Your son is in cancer, so you're in tune. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. And it's like a pre-written paragraph. It's not that. Mm-hmm. He Whatever studies he's done, like it's literally like a circle, and it's like Mercury 12 degrees oh. north or whatever it is, and he reads you based off of that. No mm. descriptions. And so like when he was saying things down to like parental dynamics, mm. he doesn't know me, picked up. He was like, there's an awkward Michelle tension. Michelle and between, Tony? He was like, there's a tension <laughs> between you and a parental figure. He was like, it's looking paternal. Oh. Mm. You don't mm. have to do all of that. Right, <laughs> yeah, right. Put me on blast that. like Could've that, bitch. Right. I see. That's why, and I love it. I feel like it only there's only good that comes from having some type of reading. He it, made a it's full always, connection. It's always good. I, yeah. I'll send you because the full connection was like, well, that's a blockage with this, and then it relates to this. And I was like, damn, I just journaled about that. Right. I'm like, still kind of j- sketch about it though. I'm still kind of. Why? I mean, protect the reading. energy. I get it because I will. I don't want anybody and everyone to read me either because right. I don't know what's happening. But his yeah, spirit, well, I mean, you, yeah, it's basically his energy, kind of like his energy felt. You're letting so some, but you're just letting a stranger in. You're just right. letting a stranger in, and that's it. That's but I mean, but if they that. come to you like that, uh, I feel like I feel like it's a higher. Genuine. It's just a higher something trying to tell you something i got trust it was just no i get that because there are certain things that i even see on like apps and shit and i'm like oops scroll 
Yeah, like yeah. TikTok, well, something like but, that. Hey, yeah, I don't know no. what yeah. energy you have, but the way he walked up and he was like, girl, I heard you talking about. And I was like, it came off real home, girl. Mm-hmm. Very chill. And he was like, no, if you're open to that. it, yeah. I have a reading. Like, I'd love to show you. And he was like, I feel like you can get some things from it. Oh, and it was just, amazing. And I, I gave him that. his space, too. I didn't even sit next to him. I gave him my phone, gave him my chart, and I walked away. And he's like, okay. I took it in. I have it. Yeah. And we talked about it, and then we had a full conversation about it. Our charts even aligned with certain things. Mm-hmm. And then I and he was a little bit younger than me. And I ended up giving him advice and just telling a story about what I had recently gone through and mm-hmm. brought him to tears. And he was like, I'm so glad I walked up to you because you just helped me overcome a blockage that I had. Wow. So in that moment, it was like such a a give and take mm-hmm. situation yeah. that we needed. See, when it's like that, energies. that shit is natural. Yes. yes. Now if someone was like, oh, no, you can get the fuck about my face, bitch. bitch. I don't want to like, be in your like, crystal. Like trying no. too hard. It has to be like that, like just super casual. It's like, I would love to give you it. I think that it would help you. And if not, then no worries. Like, yeah. kind of mm. something like, I just not feel pressed. like that's when it's real. Not pressed. Because why are you so pressed to read Right. Me? I'm like, I'm not that pressed, bitch. I don't right. know. But I, I get you. Because yeah. that energy shit, we are we feel right. so deeply. You do. You Yeah, Sammy's right. You do need to be I careful. I respect it, though. Like, I respect all aspects of doing all that. But, like, me personally, I'm a little sketch. I would encourage everyone to be sketched. Like, do your research. Like, don't just pop up on anybody's shop and be like, oh, a reading. You yeah. know, like. I don't even let my aunt do it. She does it. I'm and fucking she's, crying. She's le- she's <laughs> good as le- I'm so serious. She's so good at it, too. And her and my mom would always have little kikis. We'd literally drive all the way to Naples just so they can do their little card readings, drink their wine while I watch, like, So You Think Could Dance and shit. And then she's like, you're going to be on there. And I'm like, what? Okay. Right. I was on there. And I was like, okay, I get it. You can read me, but I'm still not going to let you read me mm-hmm. like that. But mm. I mean, trust that instinct then, because mm-hmm. it's, it's something. Yeah, right. and it's not to put her down. And I'm no, not no, trying no. to talk in your family, I, but no, that it's it. what you need. Yeah. <sighs> All right, y'all. So the last last um couple minutes we have. Damn. Let's go back already. Oh, it's so see. That's how I know that this is amazing, amazing chemistry between all of us. Because I'm telling, we never know what to talk about every Ever. time we come in here. Not a fucking clue. We never use like, the as cards. Like, we don't live life. Like, there's right. so much to talk about, and we still don't know what to fucking talk about. So we have these cards that are lovely, lovely production Rashad made for us when we... Trying to act like you can't listen. Trying to act like you can't hear. He has to. It's his job. Um, he got one so off. we're going to... Let's, let's look at these cards and answer them. So are men slash women more attractive with or without tattoos? With. <laughs> I, do you have to have a, you have to, I feel like you ha, you definitely have to have a body for it. Yeah. And you kind of have to have a face for it. Because if Ooh. you're looking like the Ken, if you're looking like a Ken doll. And you just tat it up. And you just it tat it work. up. It you work. just like, you know what I'm you saying? You fucked up the fucking Maserati. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> My throat. What, it's like when you put uh, bumper stickers on nice cars. Did you have have you ever heard that? When you put a bumper sticker <laughs> on a nice car, why do oh, that? I, mean, I understand. I it's just I the see. way it came. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked it. up that Maserati. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Got it. You see Got what it I mean? And yes. Yeah. Not, yes. Don't put bumper stickers on that shit. If it ain't broke, like, don't fix it. Damn, right. You gonna get laser hair removal and laser fucking tattoo <laughs> all over your shit. Yeah, I definitely have to have the faith. Do we have we have to have the attitude for it? Yeah, or mm. maybe no, or maybe your tattoos will fit like the your alter ego. Yeah, who right. you really your are. personality? Because so, obviously, I'm like I want rugged, I want street, I want swag, I want. Mm. But that doesn't have. But those people are not the only ones that match tattoos. Maybe true. Maybe somebody like oop. Maybe someone like. <laughs> She has a whole bunch of tattoos. And, and I think no she, sense? She look, no, I think it looks great. Oh. Because her tattoos match her... Persona. Yeah, like, it matches her. There's people that literally just get tattoos for the fuck of it. Like, no Me. meaning. I'm no, kidding, but, I'm like, yours kidding, look no. cute on you. That's what I'm saying. I, ha- I, do want, I do want some kind of piece. I do have, like, a total of seven tattoos just everywhere. Um, Sam, how many do you have? Me? Four. But do we look better with them? Do we look better with them? 
I don't care if I look better or not. If I like it, <laughs> she's like, bitch, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go get it. Get you, it. Get it. you don't have no tattoos, Mm-mm. and you don't want? I do. I'm what just do waiting. Want? I want a couple. Where? I want one on my spine. Do you really? I, that'd be cute on you. <laughs> Come on. Spine. I want a spine. leg tat. I want Ooh. one on the back of my leg. Um, I want one on my thigh. Do you really? I want yeah. one right well, you here do. underneath. I can see you with that. Yeah. I want my angel numbers right here. Cute. I want trust the process, trust God's timing. Bitch, what? You gotta let's go. You got a lot to do. We got. That's we what got we're gonna do. We're to gonna do. get a. We're gonna get a tattoo artist. In Bitch. Here. Oh my god. We and go while do it. We need while, to while we record, while I mean, we record, I'm like, she's gonna get her tattoo. Yeah. Oh my god. Take a shot and bring a tattoo artist because I mean I'm I've been wanting to. I was gonna go to a tattoo. What we gonna get? I don't know. I'm I'm all about the random shit. Let's go. Next question is how do we feel why do certain women want modern women benefits while still demanding past expectation? Oh. Can you explain? Wait. <laughs> Rashad, can you, bring Rashad it down? can you break that one down? Break it down, please. That was a real deep question. Can you, you explain <laughs> why do certain women want modern women benefits while still demanding past expectation? <gasps> what did you mean by that Got question? It. I feel like I already I know what he idea. means, yes. Yes. but maybe he could put Clarify. it more into like, yeah, simpler terms. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, like, me feel so dumb. Um, like, He's like, well. Okay, so let me put it this way. Women nowadays, in my personal opinion, um, they want they want to have uh, the masculine have masculine energy while still wanting the feminine benefits, mm. like being taken care of and shit, right, like financially right. and all yes, that. Yes. They want they want okay they, they want to have their have their own independent own separate bank accounts, mm-hmm. and but still have be spoiled, still pay for everything. Right, right. Mm. So they so, want the independence. So not, not, it's not even independence. It's like I mean, I figured this is what you're saying. Uh, they're banking on the relationship not working so they want to have their own like safety net oh uh. so if it, if, it, if it doesn't work they have they have a way out while they've been spending the other man's they, they want they want their right they want their independence to a certain mm-hmm. extent but they mm-hmm. want to have it separate from what their relationship actually is. Mm-hmm. i think so that's a perspective that that's where we are in as a society like yeah you, you still want the 1950s relationship where the man pays for everything but you want to have your own to make sure that if it does, it basically what they're saying is like they they have a a, a prenup. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but it's interesting to hear it like that. That's yeah, how that from is from a man's actually, perspective. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't think of it that way. I didn't think about <laughs> I like that. She's like, of course you know. No, but I mean, no, I, I really <laughs> think that that's interesting. That that's how men mm-hmm. perceive that because, like, I look at I'll use my film. I'm always putting my shit on blast. Like, my mom has an amazing job, makes bank. Granted, they're together. But I think it's also, in a sense, maybe the way we're raised and brought up. Like, you know, mm-hmm. find a good man. Let Make sure he takes care of you. But, bitch, still have your own. Just because he takes care of you doesn't mean you have nothing. And I think mm-hmm. the connection, like the 19, 1950s thing that he mentioned, they didn't have shit. Right. So I think the having of your own is more of women empowerment. I don't look at it as I want my cake and eat it, too. I look at, like, no, if I'm allowed to do it, then, of course, I'm going to do it. And, like, we all said, if a man wants to take care of me, then yes, I'll let him, but that doesn't mean I'm stopping my shit just because. Mm-hmm. So my mind, I don't look at it as a prenup or a safety net. I look at it like we're both making a choice. I'm mm-hmm. still 100% going to do me and make my money and make sure my name, Jasmine White, is signed, sealed, and delivered and stamped because mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck if you want to take care of me or not. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean I'm going to sit on my ass cheeks. Right. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying it comes it's- down to perspective. Like I never looked at it like that from that standpoint. So it's interesting hmm. to hear how a man looks at it and I obviously I'm not like speaking that. for the masses of women. I'm speaking from my woman mindset. Right. I never mm-hmm. looked at it as a prenup or a safety net. Like I'm gonna look at it as I'm grinding, I'm hustling. If you I do, as I a need man, to do what I, I need to do what I need to do for myself. For me and right. my success because and, it's important yeah. to me. And if you want to do that, yes, I would appreciate it. I think the demand word, like I'm mm. expecting that, that that's, that's what, what it is. I'm not expecting. And we don't demand that. So it's Do hard you for, demand that? No, it's right. hard for me to put myself in that mindset to answer it because it's right. a, like we said on the last episode when we kind of talked about it, if you want to do it, then I need to learn how to open myself up and let you take care of me. But, and it's a, it's a give and take. Yeah. But right. it's a choice, not an expectation. But you know what's crazy? So- I didn't even think of it like in a relationship situation i was thinking of it like um some older women that are brought up a certain way are more 
like they want to be like the women now, like more freedom, more independence, more, mm -hmm. you know, in that aspect. Mm -hmm. And some I remember, for example, there's a girl or a woman, an older woman that says, oh, you shouldn't be doing this, this and that. But then behind the scenes, they want to be doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like how we so dance that's, and show our bodies and all these right, things. Right, and then they're being jealous. Let's use the word jealous. I didn't want to use it, but basically being jealous of what you're doing, but they want to do it. Mm, you know, shaming you for what right. they were taught shaming that they you. were not allowed to do, right. and were fighting the quote unquote norm and just doing it. That's right. Bitch. That's what I thought. You're when not gonna you tell me what question. I can and cannot mm. do. I didn't think about like a man and a woman. I literally just thought about like how women think back then and now. It how sounds we like are. he's saying have your cake and eat it too. You want to have your yeah, money no, that just what, and have someone spend it's it right. on you. Highlighting the fact that it was like people, modern women today demand. Yeah, yeah it was the demand word. Okay. okay. But you know what's for me, like kind of staying on the same topic, but kind of switching it up. Like for me, I, ex I am very aware of kind of having the balance of feminine qualities and masculine qualities because yeah. I very much I, I like to take care of my man mm -hmm. the way that I expect him to take care of me whether and, exactly. and honestly like going back to like the Same. 1950s whatever, whatever it's like financially I take care of my man too you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying I, I can take care of my man financially I can take care of him emotionally I can take care of him spiritually whether that be you know to I don't know I don't know what I, you know what I'm trying to say yes, yes. Because we we all we're if we're able to do it, then match it. Right. It's right. not one or the other. It's not yeah. I can't provide and you're only providing. It's I don't know. I don't. Provide. Yeah. I don't know if it's like oh, so the women is only the women are only supposed to do this, and then the men are only supposed to do this. It's like bitch, mm -mm. we do it together. Right. Yeah. And we if you do, do that for me, good. I want to do that for Whatever you. Whatever you can right. do, I can do. Exactly. And do what feels right. good. It doesn't have to be like oh, what is it supposed to be? It's like nothing is supposed to be a certain way. Why are we all just being told that you have to be like this? You have to be like that. It's like no, I want to do what feels right in my fucking relationship and but i guess it. there is the perspective too like right we'll give rashad the benefit of the doubt. there's girls out here i want to sugar daddy i, I want to be just tricked about on. to say i want to be is. flued out yes of right. course there's a percentage of girls who do that they want to just reap the benefits of it and but I, that's uh -huh. why they're not happy at the end of the day i have people Period. in my life who do that i know people close to me who do that and some of them have different mindsets and others be like well if he gonna do it he gonna do it and if i'm gonna benefit then i'm not gonna stop someone from benefiting me mm -hmm. so yes it doesn't necessarily look good but in the same breath it's like he also making a choice everybody's he, making it's a everybody choice. Like, makes it's, the it's choice. such a choice if you're gonna hand out this money for me for my time and presence we going out to dinner and you want to mm -hmm. throw some cash at me I mean, you, it's a choice. <laughs> and my decision was to take you. Yeah, and I'm not gonna say no. Yeah, Shit. so it's like, I mean, it's you're gonna have a plethora, a plethora of responses. Come on, word. Thank you, because he tried to play me like this degree <laughs> didn't. You feel me? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean like I feel like every woman is gonna have a, it's the fact that you be looking at me like I'm motherfucking crazy cause you are <laughs> I'm like wait a minute point is you do what you need to do for you you don't expect anything yeah. you don't you just go do what you do do what your motherfucker do. what do. makes you feel happy, bitch. Yeah. And the minute somebody fuck up, bye. Yeah, I still got my business, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Outside. Okay, so I already asked this. Outside of America, what country would you like to live in and why? Um, I what like country would I like to live I in? I like tropical places, but I kind of want to do Tokyo. Really? Tokyo? Why Tokyo? Well, first of all, a part of my family is Japanese, and I still haven't fucking been there. I only wow. been to Cuba, okay. like outside of whatever. I didn't mm -hmm. know you were yeah. Japanese. Yeah, yeah, she's Asian. Did not know that. Yeah. Fun fact about Wham! She's Asian. Love that. <laughs> Ellie is so excited. <laughs> like, yeah, I love that she's Asian. Yeah, but um, I do want to go there. It looks so cool. They say it's like the clean version and futuristic version of like New York City and stuff. So I like, heard about cute. that too. I would love to I'd go to Tokyo. I don't videos. know about living there, bitch. I don't know about All living. All my friends live there and they're like, it's so fucking amazing. Like... And I'm just like, wow. You know what? Because I was about to say, no, they be doing that too. I was going to say I like sushi. Greece or Italy or something like that. Ooh. Like just by the water. I love Greece. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know if they can keep up with what I got to give. I don't know. I would have to really see. Mm -hmm. I could do, I, we could do state, which other state right, in I America. Can I can answer Not that. Nah, bitch. 
country? Well, I don't have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't study like, for I'd that. I'd rather not. I didn't study. I didn't study that. So okay, fine. Okay, what state? Houston, Texas. I could live in oh, okay. for Oh, us. yeah, I could Why? see that. That's a place I've always talked that I want to, like, move there. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, an, it's an option for me. Okay. I really, really love Texas. Mm-hmm. Why? The people, the food. Just the, like everything. every time I'm there, it just. It's always a good time. It's that feeling. It's yeah. a homey feeling. It's mm-hmm. like, this is cute. I could see this. Because other places, you're like, okay, babe. Like, when I go to Atlanta, I can't live in Atlanta. I mean, it's it. lit. It's I can't term, live in It's a good time just because we it's had a fun time. There. I can't live that life all the time. No. <laughs> but I mean, I don't. It's Houston is really flourishing I a love, lot of businesses honestly, black yeah. businesses are super flourishing nice. the community the vibes of it all like i know it's it humid, just feels it's like home but i mean that's everywhere that's what's though stopping like, me. no dude houston heat bitch it's just like it different that's like, the only thing as soon as you thing. walk outside it you just smell like fucking bounce that ass you have to take a five shower <laughs> a day <laughs> Fucking disgusting. It's you smell so like <laughs> that's where I'm coming from. That's Ew. What I'm uh, that booty wind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and you just sticky with it. Like then it's like mm. you gotta get that extra, extra Sitting high in it. order wins. Just stink, like attitude. Yeah. For yeah. like sit in the house with the air on, take a cold Bless shower that because you're like, bitch, don't fucking talk to me. Don't touch me. I'm gonna slap the fuck at you. It's hot. She says smell like booty wind. Ooh. How long would you go without technology? What? I can go yeah. without it. I could go without it too. I literally go every morning without it. I go on a hike without my phone. I leave it at home. So Ooh. if you try to call Can me, Can we in the go morning, a week? No. Why not? Yes. I don't think I could. I can. I can. Okay, with the exceptions of calling your loved ones or calling whoever you need to call, but you maybe mean media. going out. Yeah. Oh, like social media yeah. media just I like could without do that. my phone phone. I yeah. could do that. Without, yeah. without like the the you without the nonsense stuff like just the apps that we use. Bitch, I've the, done that now. The shortcuts, the just internet. Period. I think I'd like to. I like that idea of it. But you couldn't. If I'm on a beach, or I something. think I could. When Honestly, I'm on vacation, though, yeah, right. I do do that. I very much so try to be present. What present. the fuck would you do now Ooh. if I'm at the house just chilling? No. Yeah. You and that you here, you in California <laughs> with no fucking technology, no internet, bitch. Go on, motherfucking hike. Though. Stop playing with me. I do. I want. I want. To do. But that's what that's what I'm saying in my head. That's oh, what yeah. I'm saying to myself right. in my head. Okay. Go on a cute little hike. Um. And then what? I like being get active, something to eat. So. Like get some food. <laughs> no TV either. <laughs> like we're talking about just the phone. Like no TV, no computer, yeah, no, no TV. Oh, Damn, no what TV. The fuck? Or nothing. Nothing. Bitch in the room making up an A count to no Playing music. Playing patty cake with my fucking phone. Oh, you ain't got no, no electronics. You gotta have to sing the beat in your head. Oh. <laughs> Make my own goddamn music. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> that shit sounded like hey, I thought you farted. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, seriously. Like, no, we like, could. Y'all got a napkin? We have such a creative mind. <laughs> we have such a creative mind. We can draw. She's like, here you go, bitch. We can draw. <laughs> we could sing. We could mm, do pottery. We could exercise. We could cook. There's so many things we could. Let's go. Let's try to go a week without it, bitch. Okay, ready? What? She said no. <laughs> she said no already. She answered. Well, two days. Okay, the last question is what? What is your playlist that gets you into the mood? Like a sexy time mood? I think so. Damn. We, let's, we can talk about different talk about mood. like a pumped up mood, like like a sexy time. <laughs> Come mood. on, Janice. That wasn't me. Oh. That was definitely you. That's hard. Hmm. 90s R&B. Yeah. Thank you very Chew much. Ending this podcast. Yeah. 90s. No, nothing else needs to be said. 90s. A, a good. Ooh. A How good about besides l- that? Because we would all go there. Huh? How about besides that? Because we would nothing. all go there. I ain't trying what? 90s R&B? Mm-hmm. Oh. um, Jazz. Yes. A jazz playlist. Have you, you done it to jazz? Some jazz? I've done it to jazz. Really? Yeah. It's actually I don't know very about, nice. Oof. I don't know about doing that. You can get doing can you can do it, yes. I'd rather do it to some booty bitches did it with the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, booty bitches did it. Did it, did it. <laughs> Hell no, nah. no, nah, that's Wait, a no that's for a me. Lot, though. <laughs> I mean, I would prefer that than some jazz. Yeah. I feel like you don't have to keep it. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's like your little workout. You get that ass right. You, it's passion. It's is passion. every sex is every sexual encounter passionate for you guys? No. Yes. <laughs> Y'all know the answer, quick. Y'all know the answer. Why you say no all the time? Yes. Okay, the fuck. You mean like, mm, mm, or like, 
feeling. Yeah, something. like looking yeah. into your eyes like, and like look at me. looking Not into when you your get eyes. Getting bent over the counter for a five second one <laughs> two like what the. <laughs> With that being said, <laughs> we got like, it. <laughs> this is over. Bitch, I'm bent over the counter trying to make some eggs. This is not, not like passionate. <laughs> we got Jessup in the building saying say goodbye. goodbye. Hey. hey, we got Webby in the building saying goodbye. Hey. We got Ali up in the building say, say goodbye. goodbye. And that is true. Not every sexual encounter <laughs> is passionate. Yeah, not everyone is passionate. Thank you. We'll see you. (laughs) We'll see you next week on another episode of After Class of Queens podcast. We love y'all. Bye. Bye.